great season. Thank you. Really good. Thank you so much. So, does the baby play a big part in the new season? No, he's only this big. So. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he's a big part in David's life because, as we were saying on the panel, he's kind of like all Nick has. So he'll be around, but he won't be doing that for a while. Too young to fight. So it's kind of like the X-Men, their abilities don't take place until they reach puberty kind of thing? That's very true. Okay. Um, that's the <laughs> although, although Diana did exhibit uh, powers. Yeah, she, uh, she aged a little faster and she certainly had some powers. Yeah. But for a grim, will we find out what kind of triggers that for them? Because for Nick, it was a little bit later. And, um, yeah, Nick was quite a little bit later. But you know, sure much later than So true. <laughs> so true. <laughs> and this is a strange combination. So if anything can happen. Yeah. It could be anything. How will this um, impact the throwing of uh, Nick and Adelaide together? Impact the art of this season. It's going to very much complicate things. It's two wonderful this. relationships at Scar, so I can't see why that would happen. <laughs> Yeah. 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 There's no pass. You know, they have this child, but they they really don't know each other. They never live in the same room. They have slept together. They have, but he didn't know. But they, yeah. did, they have slept together. <laughs> sort of twice, if you count the time that Julia turned into Adam. And he knew uh, Grimm's and also pulling legends from around the world to bring on the show this year? Well, we're going to... Yeah. We're going to discover more of the keys and and some... Uh, yeah, we're, we're turning the fairy tales from all over the world again to, uh, to vamp on. And uh, we're going to get a little more into the grim lore. Then, you know, uh, Nick is suffering a little bit from the loss of the library. So there may be a way to restore some of those things. He didn't think to take photos of anything with his phone or like you know, you did in the library. <laughs> <laughs> 21st century. He lets her burn it. Yeah. He had a trailer. It's really cool. It was in the middle of nowhere. He had, yeah. he had this like giant, like pristine, like you know, back in the middle of his kitchen living room area. And, like that thing so beautiful. You just use it to send cryptic messages back and forth to your. It's mom. all they use. <laughs> Well, he had plans to follow it, but every week there's another creature he's got to deal with, so That's right. he kept it busy. He was too busy. What was, the, um, when, what was the decision, or how was it made, to take Juliet in the direction? To, to take Juliet's character in the direction and the end. You know, it was. I think it was a really great idea because it turned it, her on its head. She lost her memories. Her mind, so her mind kind of came back slowly. Um, it just seemed like what would drive them apart. You know? and what if this happened? And she was a created hex and based on a porn. It just seemed like a great idea. Yeah, we also every every time we make a decision like this, we want to have if something happens to somebody like Sasha coming back to life. We always want to have a cost to that. So he had to suffer through bringing Jack the River back. Well, Adeline doing what she did to Nick had ramifications for Juliet when she tried it. So Nick got his powers back, but there was a cost to that. So it's more like real life that way. You know? Will we see trouble more this season? We'll be seeing her. We'll definitely be seeing her. No. Or as, as they like to call her, David was in New York and somebody came up to him and said, oh, I love the show, and especially that character, Danger. <laughs> 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 <laughs>